Cold connection is a term that refers to the process of joining two pieces of metal without the use of heat. A cold connection provides a beautiful yet raw look which can be used in several ways. These pieces here are perfect examples of combining different metals and using the cold connections to tie them all together. Cool Tools carries two cold connection kits with everything from nuts and bolts to rivets and washers. The kits not only include assorted finishes in brass, copper, and silver, but assorted lengths and tools to get the job done. Let's get started by combining copper sheet metal with a metal clay antique mold. First, I need to cut out a shape from copper sheet metal using a pair of metal shears. I'm using 24 gauge copper, but Cool Tools carries red brass, copper, and sterling silver sheet metal in assorted gauges. Using the metal shears, I slowly work my way around the circle to get the perfect cut. After I finish cutting out my shape, I'm ready to add a texture using a texturing hammer. This texturing hammer comes with nine removable heads for adding all types of textures. I begin evenly adding my texture to the copper. As I hammer, it distorts the edge of the circle, but I'll leave it because I like the raw look of this piece. The imperfections will work perfect with the antique look of the mold and the raw feel of the cold connections. Next, I'll prepare the antique mold to be added to the copper. Cool Tools carries almost 400 antique molds, so everyone is sure to find a design they'll love. I'm going to use three rivets to connect the copper to the antique mold. I mark out the areas I need to drill with a black marker. Using my flex shaft machine, I drilled three holes for the rivets. Next, I set the mold on my copper circle and center it. Using the marker, I mark the holes I just drilled, and then I can drill through the copper. Now, we're ready for rivets. I start by adding my three rivets to the antique mold and turning it over. You can attach your piece directly to your copper, but cold connections give you the option to raise different pieces up to add depth and interest. To raise up my mold, I simply throw on a few nuts as spacers using a tweezers. I'm adding two nuts for every rivet to add more space between the antique mold and the copper. After all my spaces are in place, I add the copper back and we're ready to start riveting. Using a small riveting hammer, I flatten out the ends of the rivets. One by one, I continue to flatten out the ends and this makes a nice connection with a smooth reveal. After all three are finished, your two pieces are joined. Using these simple cold connection kits, you can now mix metals, styles, and finishes quickly and easily and give your jewelry pieces a beautiful and unique look. Visit our learning center at www.cooltools.us for more cool jewelry making videos. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and be sure to sign up for our email list to be the first to hear about new videos, products, contests, and other cool stuff from Cool Tools.